if you're planning on traveling anytime soon and would like a uh, good, free, easy way to itinerize your, uh, your trip or all the sites you'd like to see, uh, then a, a good way to do that is to use the My Places function in Google Maps. Uh, so I'll show you how to do that by uh, first opening up your internet browser. In this case, we're using uh, Google Chrome. Um, once we're there, we want to go to maps.google.com or .com.au in this case because we're in Australia. Once we're there, uh, providing you're signed in with your Gmail account. Uh, if you don't have a Gmail account, uh, you might like to sign up for one. But once you've gotten into uh, maps.google.com with your Gmail account, you should have the My Places button here. So we click that. We're then presented with this little view here, and we want to go create map. So in this case, I'm about to fly to Brisbane, and I want to go and see a few uh, bars and clubs. So I'm just going to type in bars and clubs here, Brisbane bars and clubs, and then we click done. And then uh, what we can do is go ahead and search for a few bars and clubs using the Google search filter here. So. Um, I already know a few that I wouldn't mind going and seeing, so I'll just search for Cloudland Bar in Fortitude Valley. Here we go, we've got the result. Um, there's just the one result here, so uh, what we want to do is find this little link down here, Save to Map. If we go ahead and click that, then we, then we get a uh, list of all the different maps that, that I've created previously. Um, the Brisbane Bars and Clubs is one we want, obviously. So we click save there, get a little notification, Cloudland Bar was saved to Brisbane Bars and Clubs, and you can see it's dropped a pin there. We can then go ahead and search for a few others, so Lime's Hotel in Brisbane City, there we go, save to map, save, quick and simple, um, crew bar. So by the time I've finished with this map, there will probably be God, 30, 40 different bars, possibly hundreds, and I'm never going to get to visit all of them. But what I'll be able to do is sort of see them all in proximity to each other on the map and be able to work out which ones I want to go to um, and when. Uh, Emporium, Fortitude Valley, there we go. Save to map. Okay. And one more, maybe a shitty one, GPO. Save to map. Okay. So now we've uh, we've got a five, four, five in there. We can click on view map. And we have our map title and a list of all the different places we've added to it. And here you can see in uh, map view, uh, rather than satellite view, you can see the little pins stand out quite easily there. So you can see within proximity how close they are all to each other. We click satellite, it then becomes a little bit tricky to see where they all are. So I prefer to keep it in maps view for that reason. Then if you were to uh, go to any other computer elsewhere, you can always open up the internet browser and log into Maps, and it's going to be available to you wherever you are, an internet kiosk, someone else's place. If we click on My Places again, you can see here, you've got your old map. And there we have all the different bars. And if you like, even you can uh, you can print this. What I might do is just back out of that. Um, you can actually change the uh, the color of each of these somehow. Click edit. We can click here. We can pick a different pin color for each different place, simply by clicking all of these. OK, 
Okay, so now we have a different pin for each of these. Then if we were to click save and click print, we can zoom into our little map a little more. There we go, we've got our five different places. We can simply click print and there we have a uh, itinerary without even having to be at a computer. Hope you found this handy. Um, please leave any comments below and uh, any questions. Cheers, guys.